Hi Leo, this is your love scope for February 1st through February 15th, 2017. I am going to do a general love reading for the energy of Leo, and then I'm going to do a reading for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. So if you are a Leo Sun, your Sun reading will immediately follow the general reading for Leo in regards to love and romance. And if you are a Leo Moon or Leo Rising, after the general love message, go ahead and click your timestamp in the description box below for Rising or Moon. If you do not know what your rising or moon signs are, I've left a link in the description to take you to a website that will provide you with a free natal chart and you will be able to obtain your rising and moon sign from that, okay? So I'm going to get right into this because Leo, oh Leo, so there's... I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. There's, I just want to give a lot of you a hug. That's all I got to say is, I know that these are general readings, but I definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, I definitely feel that I am picking up the same energy of certain individuals each reading, for sure because of what keeps coming through along with other messages that are unrelated but I want to point out to you guys that the Ten of Cups came out three times it came out in the general it came out for the Sun and it came out for the moon so for some there is a sense where there is a great deal of happiness in your life right now but I have the Ace of Cups reversed in the crowning area, which is the thinking, the mental realm, and it's reversed. So regardless of the happiness and stability that some of you have, you are still missing somebody. But, and that could have a lot to do with the Valentine's falling in, you know, these two weeks. But your Wisdom Oracle, Vintage Wisdom Oracle cards are Trust and Awakening. So for those of you who have been really struggling with letting a particular person or a relationship go, Spirit's saying you need to trust the process of this because the emotional pain that you feel is breaking you open and you are awakening into a new perspective, a newer, it feels very spiritual. Whatever this relationship is for you guys, whoever this person is, whatever has been playing out for you guys, even if you are in the relationship currently and you and your partner are just fighting like cats and dogs, it's breakup, makeup, that kind of thing. There is great spiritual significance with what is transpiring between the two of you, whether you're together or separated. And I do this, see the separation card here, so <laughs> I know some of you are separated from this person. And I also have the Four of Swords, so again, separation, recovery, healing, and I have the... Wheel of Fortune in the past position, but it's reversed. So, good news though. We have the Seven of Cups here, and I, I do want to point out that throughout all of this, the general, the sun, the moon, the rising is so cups heavy with cards. So cups heavy, and you so this is general so I can't say every one of you but many of you this is a very emotional two weeks for you but with the seven of cups being reversed at the basis 
I think you guys are clear. You're not you're not fooling yourself anymore, especially with this will of fortune in the past position. You on some level to some degree have accepted things as they are, which could very much speak to this awakening card and with the ace of cups being reversed up there in the crowning thoughts to me you've come to accept that you and this person aren't together and with the will of fortune in the past being reversed it's for many of you this is a situation that's been ongoing for quite some time especially with three tens three ten of cups and it's very emotional but we have this emperor coming in the near future and it means a couple different things depending on the message that I'm picking up this is many of you because the Emperor does represent Aries there's the Aries symbol right there but that means it has a, a fiery element to it the energy behind it and the Emperor is very in much, very much in control of his life and his world when he's upright and he's actually not emotional if he's emotional it's more of like anger or passion otherwise he's stable he's secure he's solid he knows how to build a business and this is the energy for you guys coming you know in during this two weeks so for some of you you're encompassing this because again you've accepted that this relationship is not in your life or this person is not in your life right now you're not fooling yourself anymore you've found some sense of stability and happiness despite this person not being around like there's something else going on in your life whether it's with friends family you're dating somebody else it just you've thrown yourself into some really passionate creative endeavor it's different for everybody but it's you've come into a place where of acceptance and you're stable about it now for some this emperor especially if you're a female can be a new energy that's coming into your world these first two weeks or has just come into your world and this person is definitely gonna have some sort of power or status they're not gonna just you know be working at Taco Bell <laughs> that's a really terrible analogy I know but I'm just saying that this person's gonna be of status they're gonna be secure just as I'm saying this is the energy you guys are gonna come in to embody that message of you missing somebody if that doesn't speak to you and you're single this definitely is like something new coming in but just based on all the other cards I see here I don't feel as though new romance is really on the table for Leo's at least not in this reading if you're single I do just depending on where you fall as far as Sun Moon Rising there is some activity going on but this two weeks is more about like balancing in yourself and being grateful for the things that are present and trusting whatever has transpired that it's leading you into this greater awakening and in this place you become this emperor and this is a fantastic card to have to be to embody the energy of it it's just very much in control of emotions and sitting right next to the seven of cups reversed yes you are even though under the surface there's a lot going on emotionally you are being very calm and collected to others that you interact with or even internally despite the fact that you are still missing this person and for some of you this is more than others now if you know if you're I'm just trying to look here if you're coupled 
and what what's coming through for that if you're coupled there there is definitely a message of um, children and baby but it doesn't look like a good thing if there's like a if somebody's pregnant it that's not I don't feel that that's a good thing and some of you may be going through that like there may have been somebody you were well that's like I'm here I'm talking about singles again I just I'm not I'm not getting a great deal for Leos that are happily coupled up with somebody else I, even though I have these Ten of Cups and this Emperor, the messages, and see, I know what each card means, but when there's a message that's just really strong, it's almost like I can't penetrate the curtain of that energy to pull more in because Spirit's like, nope, 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 this is, this is the message. This is, and I want to be, you know, all-encompassing to every situation, but it, it's just not. This is really about a singles or... You could be in a relationship, but you're still really hung up on somebody else. That kind of energy, it's, but that's why I'm saying some of you, there is where you maybe had a one night stand or there's somebody you've been casually kind of dating and I think you got pregnant and there is some serious heartbreak over this. Maybe you're, you know, after you talk to them it's decided that they don't want to have the baby or you don't want to have the baby or maybe you're miscarrying the baby I'm just getting um, some really heavy energy around an unwanted pregnancy very strong for Leo rising and for others it's like you've decided to just remain single for now, you're just like, you know what? I am in love with somebody else. And even if you feel a thousand percent in your heart that that relationship will never be again, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, it's as though you are finally just in a place and you're like, I'm not, I don't care. I'm just, I'm going to be single. I'm separated from the one that I love and I don't want anybody else. And I can't have that person so you take a, you're taking a time out so that you can heal because you're having this like spiritual awakening I for those Leo's watching this you there's something different happening inside of you there's a shifting of energy about love and relationships and family in general across the board the planetary alignment may be just right for you guys these first two weeks of February I don't know what's going on I haven't been keeping up with astrology unfortunately but there is a shift inside of you and there I think for many of you you just want to be alone I really get this sense of I just want to be alone and some of you were cheated on some of you did the cheating some of you are trying to go back to somebody and there's rejection or somebody's trying to come back to you and there's rejection or there's just this limbo of energy where there's no movement forward or backward you're just kind of stuck in this space with this other person's energy and I just I do not know what is going on for you guys, uh, whoever this is, because so many of you, the comments that you leave are relating to it. Many of you, it's like Leo and Scorpio, Leo and Cancer, Leo and Pisces, Leo and Water. And with all this uh, Cups cards in your <laughs> reading, many of you are dealing with a water sign. This is a very strong message whether your sun moon or rising that this person you're having a hard time getting over is a water sign sun or rising it's or they are just super 
they are like a water sign if they're not I mean this is general so obviously not all of them can be but it's whoever for many of you it is a water sign and and I see that in the comments too so to see all this <laughs> water energy I'm like wow yeah you guys it's a and water fire connections are pretty out of this world they they truly are because water water is supposed to be an amazing connection but and fire fire but there's something about fire and water that just fire and water just can't stay away from each other even though they're supposed to be opposites right but they're not so a lot of you are gonna choose to be single and that's gonna serve you the best you're just you're not really interested in options that are available to you you may not be interested in a relationship that you've been kind of entertaining trying to move on forget somebody you know move forward but many of you are just gonna kinda go into this place of singlehood and that might cause pain for somebody in your life but there's just this beautiful awakening happening in Leo there's energy there for you and I think this is more like you're finally trusting yourself and your intuition about things and seeing the universe in a more magical way recognizing your own mistakes of the past and despite what's happened it's as though whether somebody else was just terrible to you or you were terrible to somebody else you are coming into a place of spiritual understanding and perspective about all of it and you're maturing and growing in and I I feel this is you could be any age like early 20s 30s 40s 50s whatever you've been through it was definitely some soul cycle because I have three tens here plus this will of fortune but with this being reversed the will of fortune the cycle is not quite complete okay even though we have these tens here it's not quite complete especially with the ace the only ace showing up in the entire reading being reversed the cycle is not quite complete even if you just feel completely sucked dry of everything in you every emotion in you it's not quite complete you're right on the edge of that completion and that completion comes in from except for some of you finally coming into the place of singlehood and accepting what has been and this isn't I really am struggling to articulate the depth of this this isn't like a change in mind I'm gonna be doing me it's not that energy at all this is so spiritual you're growing spiritually and the choices that you're making these two first two weeks of February have everything to do with that awakening that is happening inside of you and even though this is a love reading it's this is encompassing all of you which is going to really shift and change the energy of your love and romantic life in general so that's why I'm saying if you're a happy coupled Leo right now in this moment something may shift something may change okay it doesn't mean it has to be bad but there is a huge shift of energy about to take place for Leo I see it with these cards and for some of you this is quite painful it's been a very painful process but with this ten of cups there's a happiness here at the same time you feel your your emotional growth your spiritual growth you feel the healing taking place you're making new connections so you have that and it's moving you forward but you still have this person 
on your heart so strong and you know Leo just looking at all these cards here the one that is on your heart for many of you you are on their heart as well there is with all these cups no way are are you not on their mind as well you know they love you too they think of you too and whatever it is whatever separates you from this person at this time you need to really trust in that because I I get the sense that there's moments where you have wanted to reach out or maybe you've tried and it didn't work out or you've stopped yourself and that's because spirit was saying not the right time yet not the right time yet this sits in the past not the right time yet there is some work that still needs to be done in you or that person before the final closure can happen and the the cycle is complete or you guys come back together in love in a new vibration all together because of everything that has transpired between you two up to this point so <clears throat> I'm going to leave the general energy there and go ahead and get right into the sun reading if you are a Leo moon or Leo rising go ahead and go to the description box below and click on your timestamp for that reading okay so Leo Sun, you deserve love, the Knave of Swords, <clears throat> and then you guys have the Four of Swords, the Lovers, and the Ten of Cups. Now the Ten of Cups lines up with the main read here. And then your outcome is a leg up. So what I get here, because I have the lovers and the knave of swords in this deck, this is about interference in, a, in your relationship. This is triangles. This is cheating. And lovers can also indicate that energy. Okay, and then we have deserved love here. So... Some of you here are dealing, the pain that you're dealing with has a lot to do with a situation where there was cheating involved, infidelity, or, you know, if you weren't seriously coupled up, you were seeing the same person and you thought that they, maybe they were only seeing you, come to find out that wasn't the case. But right now, whatever this, represents whoever this person is for you because this person isn't in your life right now even if you are in a relationship okay this person is not in your life right now because we have this energy here so this person you love them they're your lover they're your family they're your buddy but with you deserve love, I feel many of you fall into the category where maybe you were cheated on and you're thinking about and longing for this person is because you did really love them, but they really hurt you and you are not, even though you may wish for a reconciliation and you might talk about, you might talk to them or communicate with them emotionally you are not ready for that you're not you're not ready for that yet there's still healing that needs to take place and if you are a Leo that was you know being unfaithful and things like that you are missing that person but you also consider why you did what you did and you know that you have needs that need to be met too and maybe your needs weren't being as met as they should have been and that's what facilitated or triggered you 
to you know cheat or whatever it is that you did but you realize now that it was all about you loving you and it was insecurities within your yourself like I said there's this, this beautiful spiritual awakening for many of you and you're taking responsibility for who you were even if you were the one cheated on it's like you're looking at yourself and your own actions and saying you know what I did this I did this I did this it's this is just a big emphasis of self analysis self awareness and more than that taking ownership of who and what you are but then going a step further and saying I despite what has happened in the past to me or what I have done that I am sorry for now I do deserve love I deserve a beautiful partnership many of you are in deep contemplation about this right now whether it's a person or <laughs> it has to be a person I don't know why I said a person or it's just sometimes doing these readings it's easy to get lost and float away for you guys with the leg up being your outcome Leo Suns you should really just spend a lot of time with friends this week and maybe this person that you know is really on your mind that you're in contemplation about maybe this person was a really good friend to you and I mean you have the lovers the ten of cups and then the leg up card I what happened <laughs> Like, what happened? I guess I know what happened. Spiritually, a spiritual awakening needed to happen for you. And what, you know, there's this beautiful um, quote by Rumi, and it, I'm trying to remember it precisely, but I believe it goes, the wound is where the light enters, something along those lines. And that is so the truth. And... So even though I'm like, oh my gosh, this love is so beautiful, I'm seeing why this awakening needed to happen for you. And the pain that you're feeling, the contemplation that it's putting you into is so growing you spiritually. And, you know, who wants to hear that in a love reading? I know. It, it's like what? But... This two weeks is about you and coming into just a very mature place inside of yourself. Your cards, Leo's son honestly has the best cards out of everybody. However, I feel like most of you are in contemplation or thinking about or dreaming about this lovers and this ten of cups. Like it's not really present in your life at this time. It's something that's on your mind, whether it's related to a very specific individual or it's coming through in what you're trying to manifest for yourself. But some of you are definitely separated from the one you love because they're with somebody else and that's what's holding you up. That's, you know, why you are not with them, that might be why you're choosing to be single. And you may think that you're waiting for them, but you're not. You're spiritually awakening. This is all part of the plan. And you deserve love. No matter what's happened, you deserve love. And I do feel there will be closure for you guys or a new beginning with somebody from the past. It's 50-50. It's honestly 50-50, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. It's 50-50. You're going to reconcile, and others of you are not. And I wish I, it wasn't that vague. But seriously, just looking at the cards that you guys have, 
you really love somebody. This is like a grown love, a, something you invested a lot of time in and you're not with that person. And it kind of breaks my heart looking at these cards because I'm like, oh my God. But I understand why it's because of this. Really open up to spirit these first two weeks and how it, whatever that means for you and be really gentle on yourself and really, really trust the process of what's happening and trust your intuition and love your family, love your friends, be with them because this, again, this two weeks is about you getting into that space, not so much meeting somebody new or romance. This is more, again, like I said, I feel like I'm reading for the same exact people lately because the message has been very similar but I feel it's hitting you hard this this two weeks because of Valentine's Day for some and for some of you it's you wonder if you're if that person is with somebody else like you don't even know it's just something that you wonder about you will know when it's the right time to reach out you will know without a doubt if you guys want to reach out to somebody or if you don't feel it you never know they may reach out to you but if, if it doesn't feel strong like you don't get a sign a sign times three don't reach out wait for the sign from the universe because I feel there is going to be a time where you guys are going to come together and have a conversation of sorts for however that is going to play out for each of you so that is what I have for Leo's sons I am so sorry that I don't have more for you guys that are coupled up and happy I just I don't that's not the energy here it's not I'm sorry it's Leo who is missing somebody really bad or is really desiring a soulmate connection to come into their life and this two weeks is for you to just kind of exist in that space and you're gonna have a lot of awakening about yourself in that space and it opens the door and you know this is a great energy to have for the future, going into the future. It really, truly is, okay? So that is what I have for Leo Sun. If you are a Leo... Hello, Leo Moon. So you guys have separation, attachment, four of cups, two of wands reversed, and Knight of Cups. All that glitters. So, for you guys specifically, obviously I cannot look away from this. Separation and Ten of Cups and Sexual Magic Attachment. So, you guys very strongly are separated from somebody that you love. <clears throat> and I do feel that this separation, as this is a general reading, sorry about the noise, that's a flock of geese flying over, um, the separation is has more to do with work or life circumstance. <clears throat> it's not a negative type of separation, and there is... A coming back together maybe this is somebody coming home or there's a reunitement or you're going to visit somebody or somebody's coming to visit you but for some this right here is definitely whoever you're separated from there's some communication or something transpiring these first two weeks of February but on a lighter note I think for some of you who have, you know, been missing somebody and the opportunities that have come your way, you 
you know, kind of really just turn them down because you are still feeling this attachment to this other person. So you haven't really been emotionally open to other people, even if you've dated or whatever. But for a small select few, there is this message. There is going to be communication, maybe even a love offer from this person. But with all that glitters, it's like you, it's when it finally happens, it's not what you expect or you're like, really, I, I've been wanting this chance with you or I've been wanting to get back with you. It, you see this situation through new eyes because of this awakening card. So for some of you, whoever you are separated from that you're really missing and you're feeling attached to, <clears throat> when this communication or new offer comes in from that person, you don't want it anymore. You know, we have the emperor as the outcome for the main energy. And then for you guys with this, all that glitters, it's new eyes. You don't want it. You, you, and you're finally free from it because you see it for what it truly is you're no longer seeing it through the eyes of loving that person. The Ace of Cups here is flipped, okay? You're no longer seeing this person through the eyes of love and you see that why it didn't work out, why they are not a good fit for you. And because of this closure, like I said in the general, for some of you there is going to be this closure that hasn't happened in the past even if you've wanted it to but with your outcome for the general and for your personal for Leo Moon it's really good it's you don't want it anymore and for some this may not be somebody that you really want this is somebody who's very attached to you still and still wants you and they come in to offer you there, you know, an a opportunity and you're like, no, I don't want to be with you. Maybe in the past I have, at maybe a long time ago or whatever. It's just for Leo Moon, I get a big sense of you guys rejecting somebody because this of this awakening you've had about yourself or whatever's happened and because you have this, these new eyes and you're not blinded by emotion anymore, you're able to just move on. So that's, you know, wonderful. And, you know, for those of you who are separated from somebody and there isn't communication happening or anything these two weeks, Maybe it's time that you decide to look at the situation from a fresh perspective. Or perhaps even if you are the one who created the disruption in this relationship with this person who you are separated from and missing very much, feeling very attached to, maybe you have come to the conclusion that being without them isn't all it was cracked up to be. You could have been thinking uh, that Nelly song just popped in my head. It was only just a dream where he says, I was at the top, but I was acting like I was in the basement. I was in the number one spot. Now she found a replacement. So that really uh, just came through and I get that for some of you that was kind of the mentality you had towards somebody you were dating you were like I I might I'm not at the top you know look at what my friends are doing or being singles where it's at that's what I want to do I want to date this person I want to date that person I'm tired of this relationship you may have felt bored whatever the case may be 
you were not feeling satisfied and you and that person are now no longer together but this first two weeks of February seems to carry an element where you're like okay uh, yeah I was at the top with this person and whatever I chose over this person is not better it's not it's so not and that's where your awakening is coming into play and you want to reach out and make a new offer of love with the Emperor here this feels really strong for the males and my advice to you is you really need to trust your intuition on whether it is time to reach out to this person or not you know you need to ask spirit for personal guidance because this is a general reading and with this coming out upright I do believe that you reaching out is going to create new energy between you and this person but that could go so many different ways that person could now say to you hey I see you for what you are and I'm not interested anymore or they could be like you're damn right I'm glad you woke up to the truth that you know we had something amazing and you were being stupid or this could be flipped your person could have been the one thinking they were in the basement but they were at the top with you and they've had this awakening about what you two truly shared and now here they're coming back but that falls more into that original message where I was saying I don't think you are going to be interested anymore if that's the case but this is a general reading so it could play out where you guys do have this reconciliation because this Knight of Cups is upright even if this just means there is finally closure or you become friends or you're trying again but for most of you it's this awakening where you you're not interested anymore and you see it for all that it was and if you're the one that screwed up you're realizing that you did have it all or at least that's the way you're perceiving it especially with this reading being so dominant with the ten of cups it, this person represented a lot of happiness stability for you you may have been with them for a very long time as well and you just thought that you were bored or it's time to move on and or you met somebody else and you were like I want a shot at that doesn't mean you cheated but you may have ended the relationship you were in to give that person a chance just to know what it was like to be with them and in these first two weeks you are in contemplation mode a lot like Leo Sun where you are just seeing things for what they are including yourself and other people and these other people um, more in the sense if they are the one that harmed you or caused the disruption you're seeing them for who and what they truly are more than through the uh, glaze of rose colored glasses of love it's just you guys are being very real with yourselves these first two weeks and that's part of this awakening energy and that's what's going to propel you forward and there is love if you are just completely single and you're not feeling separated from anybody but it's like every offer that's showed up lately is just nothing that you would want it's because that it wasn't have the same frequency of you and you you've been going through this process but those Leos who are just super single nothing happening with this uh, Knight of Cups I definitely feel these first two weeks you guys could meet somebody like new love is very strong very strong so open yourself up go out and you know glam up okay glam up whether you're male or female glam up go out have fun because there's romance and being the night here this is something brand new it doesn't really say you know what this could turn into but the energy of love and romance is there for you Leo it is so there for you singles super singles that have been just disappointed and bored with what has been coming your way as far as love offers go and 
this may be another love offer that you're not interested in, but I just want to point out, even though, you know, these readings are like, oh yeah, there's a love offer that shows up, but it's not the love offer that you're hoping for or wanting, you just discount it. But I'm telling you, you can't. When it says there's a love offer coming in, really open yourself up and pay attention to when somebody's flirting with you. Pay attention to, you know, the body language of other people and how they interact with you and tap into their energy because there's somebody around you that is digging you and you just might not really be noticing it or noticing the attention that you are getting from you know the opposite sex or the same sex just depending on whatever you're into so really open yourself up these two weeks because you singles there's something that could show up and it looks quite lovely he came out upright and the emperor is upright so this is lovely very lovely energy for singles all right so that's what i have for leo moons i hope that this helped um and resonated and i truly hope that you guys have a very beautiful and blessed two weeks take care okay for leo rising <clears throat> i have Heart to Heart Conversations, Knight of Wands, very sexy, but I have Page of Cups, Three of Swords, and Five of Cups, yee, like, ew, even holding, holding these cards, I cannot tell you the energy that just went through my body, wow, wow, Leo rising, and then we have Out to See as the Outcome, so I got couple different messages here for you guys obviously with heart to heart conversations coming out with the knight of wands this is how I feel there that person that you've been missing or that that has been missing you that relationship that keeps showing up in every tower reading I do for Leo I and, and like I said, the will of fortune was in the past. So the communication, the closure, whatever, has not happened in the past. But heart to heart conversations, this first two weeks, strong, strong probability for many of you that you and this person are coming together or having a conversation, especially with the page of cups here. Now, with the three of swords and the five of cups, this conversation is going to be about a couple different things just depending on your personal situation I think for some this conversation is about the heartache and the betrayal and all the things that have happened in the past that caused the breakup or caused the separation whatever that is what this conversation is about and without to see being the outcome card the energy of this conversation puts you in a, to a place of contemplation and it's not really said the outcome it's that it the the conversation just finally happens it's all put out there the energy is put out there if you feel sorry for something you're putting it out there if you really miss this person you're putting it out there and vice versa it's like everything is being put out there and then you both need to absorb that and take some time to contemplate what you really want and what all this means to you. Now, for some, this conversation or you are reaching out to this person and or they reach out to you and this conversation happens and it's like, I, I want a new beginning, but that's not that's not what's playing out because with the three of swords and the five of cups next to this this is like rejection and you very well could be the one rejecting saying no you hurt me way too bad I am not ready right now like I said in the general I'm not ready for that yet yes Yes, I love you, but I am not ready to even try to move forward with you because I'm really still trying to sort myself out and, you know, everything that happened. 
and I, I just, I can't come to shore to meet you halfway right now. I can't do it. I need to regain my strength. I need to become strong on my own. I need to ground myself. I need to root myself. And you, you screw up my energy. You prevent this awakening. And if this is resonating with you, you really need to trust in that intuition that's telling you that you're not ready to move forward in a reconciliation of any kind. And I don't, and I mean like some of you, it's not, you're not even ready for I'm sorry yet. You're not even ready to deal with that yet. It's, this is so fresh for some. And right now, these first two weeks for you guys, this is all about, you know, connecting with spirit, doing what you can to heal yourself and not get caught up in how much this hurts. You know, reaching out because, again, what really brings us to our knees is bringing about a deep spiritual awakening that is going to benefit you beyond what you can imagine moving forward. But you're in that space right now, in that energy right now, and it's pretty heavy and it's not easy to deal with. And you just need to be by yourself without this person. And I don't think even though you may be talking to them or whatever, I just, you're not ready to emotionally try again. Or, since this is general, this could be you reaching out and this person is telling you, hey, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready for us to patch things up. I am still working out what happened inside of me. But, on a more positive note, like the first message that came in, this isn't a rejection or a new opportunity, really. It's the energy is neutral. The conversation is about what happened, and that's all it really is at this point because you guys are beginning to reconcile the split energy between the two of you, and that's part of healing. And with all these Ten of Cup cards, it's a beautiful healing. It's something that needs to happen. It, it's completing that soul cycle. And I say, you know, towards March, it's you're moving into a new space, many of you. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, sitting here in the past, it's, it's not, the cycle hadn't quite completed yet. But there's movement between you and this person this week and that is facilitating this completion whether it's the completion of heartache and sadness and you guys are now coming back together moving forward but the coming back together physically I that's further down the road I feel these two weeks are more about communication and uh, trying to again reconcile the energy between the two of you and not it's like you both are just being very real and genuine with each other it's now or never and there is a lot of passion just be real okay if this is applying to you be real now if you're completely single and there's no relationship or person that's kind of hanging you up. Uh, the message is kind of the same. It, it's in this first two weeks, you could have this connection with somebody, and either you're putting yourself out there and you're like, hey, I want more, or something, and they're like, nope, or somebody puts themselves out to you. And you're like, no. But again, you really need to trust whatever's happening. And whatever rejects you is redirecting you. And it doesn't feel good to be rejected, but you want somebody who wants you as much as you want them. You want the energy to be balanced. And if you've been feeling rejected, it's like that's kind of what keeps happening. You just, you feel rejected. Or, you know, or you are doing the rejecting because it's like nobody is showing up that is really compatible with you. You need to trust that 
right now you need to be single there is great purpose in the energy of that and there's this awakening taking place and trust that do whatever you can do meditate reach out to spirit go get a personal reading get reiki it's just there's some energy some aspect that needs to be cleared as you birth into this new spiritual awareness and you are so freaking wise wise and strong and stable because of this and just these two weeks whatever's going on just really trust the energy and ask spirit for guidance ask for signs times three i always say that that way same thing happens times three in one day you're like okay yeah there's no question that is a sign all right, I'm good. I'm I'm trusting the universe. Everything is going exactly as it's supposed to, no matter how it might be feeling right now. Everything is flowing exactly how it is supposed to because it's leading you to better. It truly is. Just trust that, okay? So that's what I have for Leo Rising for these first two weeks. I really am sending you guys a lot of love and light through this process of awakening. And something so beautiful is dawning on the horizon. Trust me, you don't go through spiritual turmoil like this. To have an awakening, to have nothing on the other side of that. Like, it doesn't work that way. There is something beyond your imagination on the other side. Just trust, okay? Have a very beautiful two weeks, Leo.